Cosa significa per gli scienziati pubblicare in una rivista i cui articoli sono sottoposti alla revisione degli esperti e cioè sottoposti al processo di peer review e cosa vuol dire invece condividere i propri risultati su un database completamente libero come Archive dove gli scienziati possono condividere immediatamente, possono postare immediatamente i loro articoli e renderli disponibili alla comunità scientifica. Lo abbiamo chiesto a Frank Teams, lead editor dell'American Astronomical Society, editore di riviste come The Astronomical Journal e The Astrophysical Journal, e a Stein Sigurdsson, direttore scientifico di Archive. Well, the primary audience for uh, the AAS journals is active researchers. Uh, so people working in the field, your colleagues, maybe your enemies, um, but, but people working professionally in, in the field. So the goal of the peer review process is to improve a paper and arrive at publication. Repeat that, improve a paper and arrive at publication. Okay? And this is how the community itself practices. So for example, the, uh, the acceptance rate in the AAS journals is about 85%. Okay? So that peer review process should be viewed as a constructive process to help you improve the paper and arrive at publication. This is different than some other journals where the goal is an 85% rejection rate, take your paper down and throw it out. Okay? So the community's response here is let's make things better for everyone and arrive at publication. And if you want to talk about that 15, other 15%, that's a whole topic in and of itself. <laughs> Open access is the best thing since ice cream. Because science works best when it is transparent and it is accessible. Our core business uh, is to put the stamp of approval, peer review approval on a manuscript. That's the fundamental part, right? Because you could just post your article on some archive somewhere, and people do, right? But that's just posting an article. That is far different than having your peers look at the article, go through the process and say, this thing is, is, is a good article. And so that, that core, even in the era of open access, you still want peer-reviewed journal articles. The AAS journals are a society-owned journal. It's for the community, by the community, with science as the number one driver. You don't publish on archive, you post on archive, okay? Big difference between posting something, which is fine, it's totally fine, but it's just posting something. That's far different than going through a peer review of your peers and getting that stamp of approval of peer review and publishing then in a peer reviewed journal, whether that be uh, the AAS journals or other peer reviewed journals. So I think there's a big difference between just posting something and getting it peer reviewed. And the archive is, is another venue to get attention to your article. So it's just another venue to help get the science out to the people and share our uh, common humanity's understanding about the universe. Primary effect and the intent of archive is to get results out fast, uh, both for uh, feedback from the community and to make people aware of it and to make the research discoverable. Uh, it provides us open access, so anyone in the world can read it anytime for free. And it, it, it is also an archive. Archive does not take copyright. Uh, the author retains the copyright uh, and we only accept uh, work that is uh, from the author. Y you have to have the copyright and, and tell us that you have the right to the paper and then you are permitting us to release the paper but you do not give us the copyright. We don't want the copyright. And in principle every article is, is glanced at at least. Uh, somebody looks at it and says uh, this is fine to release. Although our default operation is that a paper from a trusted submitter uh, is re released. Um, when you first submit a paper to archive, um, you uh, go through an endorsement system, which can either be via institutional affiliation or somebody, somebody already within archive vouches for you. So another author says, this is my student, for example. Most papers are released within 24 hours. Uh, we, we release in a daily batch so we have a window of opportunity for the system to look over the submissions. They're never released instantaneously. They're always released in a, 
cadenced window where there's at least uh, a few hours for uh, the moderator, the system, and the moderators to look at the paper. We don't have a business. <laughs> um, we are our archive has a cost. Uh, it is born internally. Uh, Cornell University uh, provides substantial resources to the community to, to keep Archive going. Uh, we have a uh, membership organization where institutions and individuals also can contribute to Archive. The, the effective cost of Archive, if you do some sort of broad averaging, is uh, roughly $10 per new paper as a marginal cost or equivalently approximately one penny to read a paper.